Speaking of dividend stocks, GE is not one of them. I want to keep coming back to that interview I did a few days ago with former chairman and CEO of GE, uh, guys, because uh, he's got a new book out. He's promoting it in a number of places. It may be the only time we had an opportunity to sit down with him. It's not clear that we will again. Uh, and, you know, the book itself, of course, as ML points out, he, he criticizes himself a good deal in terms of his leadership. Uh, he also praises many of the people he worked with. But I did note, as many other readers will, that there were a handful of people that did uh, not receive quite that same level of praise. Take a listen. Ken Langone, you don't spare some criticism. You say, quote, despite his deep financial expertise, he had approved all the disastrous insurance acquisitions made by my predecessor. I think Ken uh, is a great entrepreneur who built a great company at Home Depot, and I'm going to leave it at that. John Flannery, I worried that he could not make a decision. John's a good man. He uh, did his best for the company. I supported him. And uh, if, if truth be told, the most difficult person to write about in the book is John, because I left problems for him. I didn't mean to, and it certainly hurt him and his ability to take over the company. You do say Lorenzo Simonelli would have been the best choice for CEO. Why? You know, I've had a chance now to see Lorenzo lead Baker Hughes for four years. And, you know, in a very difficult cycle, you can see him shine. And, you know, the fact is, David, that you don't know anything about somebody until the worst day. You never see them and know much about them on their best day. I've had the chance to see Lorenzo in some really bad days, and he's a spectacular executive. Bob Wright. I was done with him. Bob Wright had done a lot for GE, but it was time for a change. Yeah, I think that sums it up. I think Bob was spectacular at NBC. It was time uh, to have a transition. I'm a big supporter and fan of Jeff Zucker, and uh, I think he did a great job at CNN, and he was uh, did a lot, put a lot of the things in place that NBC benefited for for a long time. Dennis Naden, who ran GE Capital, had crossed the line. He needed to go. There's nobody that did more for the company uh, in the 90s than Dennis Naden, but times had changed. You know, again, I think one of the one of the hardest part of telling the story for the GE community is times change and, and people have to change and situations have to change. And, and that's what it reflected. Jeff Himmelt, again, talking about his book and going over some of those names. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.